let me thank all my viewers and my subscribers may joy peace and good health be with you all year round and beyond what i'm going to share with you today is about covid 19 and its mutation the current news about the mutation that has emerged from the COVID-19 has brought a lot of freakish anxieties to many of us. Well, mutation is a normal part of the life cycle of viruses. COVID-19 is an RNA virus and therefore it really will change and the chains of this mutant is very slow and that's the reason why many people are worried what with the social distancing what with the economic collapse that the pandemic has brought to a lot of us this is not to mention the imminent danger posed by the social distancing on the social institutions of humanity which includes education, religion, and social relationships of families and friends, among others. But does this matter? Does the mutation of the COVID-19 really matter? To those who love God, I don't think so. Because we know we have a great big God over and above infections, diseases, and even death. As the saying goes, all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to His purpose. Let me also tell you that on a biological basis, we have a holistic approach, which I think is better than any medication produced by men. This holistic approach consists of, number one, eating immune-boosting foods. This would include carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And of course, vitamins and minerals, which we can get from plants and animals alike. Eating meat like beef, lamb, goats, chickens, are necessary in providing biological balance. Second is we have to do a moderate amount of exercise through laughing, moving our muscles, moving our skeletons because they provide strength to our bodily parts. Having adequate rest and sleep is also necessary because we know that rest and sleep are a part of cellular regeneration and of course the last and i believe is the most important part of this holistic approach is resting in god you see when we rest in god we commit and trust all our cares to him and when we do that when we commit and trust him we don't have to do anything. As the saying goes, God with something equals nothing. But God with nothing equals everything. You see, if we look at the narratives of the Bible, we will discern what happened to people who do not rest in God. Let's start with our first parents, Adam and Eve. They did not rest in God. Instead, they did what they wanted to do. Eating the fruit of knowledge. And what happened next was very sad. It paved the way for the flight from the Garden of Eden and dysfunctional families. In fact, families of today have inherited that tendency for this functionality. But when you rest in God, you cancel 
that tendency. Second is Cain. Cain, one of the sons of Adam and Eve, did not also rest in God. This led him to murder his brother Abel. This also led him to many sad expeditions in life and even death. The chosen people of God also did not rest in God. So many times they rebelled in God. And this also led to many events that are sorrowful, captivity, sicknesses, even death. And that's the reason why I encourage you to have rest in God. Do not allow the cares and the burdens of life, even this COVID-19 and their mutations, to hamper our rest. Let's commit to the Lord our lives. Let's ask Him to maneuver our lives for us. Let's relax, enjoy, and count our blessings. As the song goes, count your blessings, name them one by one, and you will see what God has done. When we rest in God, we are free of stress. We are free of anxieties. We are free of illnesses. We are free from the sorrows of life. So why worry about COVID-19 or the mutation of COVID-19, which according to the Scripps Research Institute of Florida, USA, is D614G. Why worry? It does not matter because we have a big, powerful God who can snatch us even from death. Resting in God is the most potent, holistic approach to all the problems in the world. As his word says, come to me all you who are heavy laden and I will give you rest. So why worry? Let's just rest in God. Let's just believe in his words. Then we can identify with the psalmist who said that I had wings like a dove, then I could fly away and be at rest. Thank you and may God bless us all. To God be the glory.